welcome to another episode of Eric the Car Guy. I've been getting a lot of response to uh, a video that I didn't actually think was very good for uh, check engine lights. So I think I'm going to do a small series on the different components involved in computer controlled systems. Uh, and today we are going to start with the O2 sensor. Now this is your very, very, very basic uh, single wire O2 sensor. The O2 or oxygen sensor is at the heart of modern fuel injection systems. During what is referred to as closed loop operation, it is the main sensor the computer looks to for regulating the fuel mixture. These sensors affect everything from fuel economy to catalytic converter efficiency. Today we are looking at the basic operation of a single wire O2 sensor. Late model sensors have multiple wires and functions, but in order to begin to understand their operation, you must first understand the operation at its most basic level. Hence, today it is the single wire sensor we are covering. An O2 sensor produces its own voltage based on the difference between the amount of oxygen inside the exhaust stream as compared to the oxygen outside the exhaust stream. Well, what the heck does this mean? Well, during combustion inside the engine, oxygen is left over or not left over directly proportional to the amount of fuel burned. If there is a lot of leftover oxygen, it could indicate a lean condition, which means that there was not a lot of fuel burned. If there is little oxygen left over, it could indicate a rich condition, which means that all of the oxygen was used during the combustion cycle. From here on, we refer to these conditions as rich and lean. The O2 sensor produces voltage based on the difference between the oxygen inside the exhaust as compared to the oxygen outside the exhaust. The voltage produced falls between 0 and 1 volt, the ideal fuel mixture falling near half a volt. If there is a lot of oxygen in the exhaust, the sensor produces little voltage, which can indicate a lean condition. If there is very little oxygen in the exhaust, the sensor produces a higher voltage, indicating a possible rich condition. The computer takes these signals and adjusts the fuel mixture accordingly to keep the voltage slash mixture as close to perfect combustion as it can get. The computer adjusts fuel mixture by changing how long the fuel injectors are open, thus adding or subtracting fuel to maintain an optimal mixture. This is referred to as closed loop operation. Because the outside of the sensor is equally important, be careful not to get oil, grease, or other contaminants on the outside of the sensor. It could get ruined. It is also important to note that the sensor can be ruined by silicone-based products such as RTV. I hope this video helped you gain a basic understanding of O2 sensor operation. I may get into more detail in future videos, but I think this will get you started. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and all that fun kind of stuff, and if you have any questions, about this video or any other questions that you would like answered, please either post them as a text or video response to this video or you can uh, find me somehow at ericthecarguy.com. Uh, thank you. See you.